everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another toddler gift idea for you and in this video I am going to show you what we got our kids for Christmas. I have a one-year-old and I have, well she's almost two, so I have a two-year-old and I have a three-year-old. Um, we do not do extravagant Christmases. Last year we did like a minimalist Christmas with pretty much no gifts. I'll link that video up above. Um, this year we did it they got a few items because they're big enough to understand. Um, and I'm excited to show you guys what they got. So this is everything. This is their stockings. This is our gifts from Santa. This is the gifts from mom and dad. And this is the gifts to each other. So let's get into it. If you're new, click the subscribe button down below. Hit the little bell so you're notified every, t every time I upload. And be sure to follow me on Instagram. So the first thing I'm going to start with is their stockings, and I do stockings a little bit differently. I don't like to put candy in their stockings, and I don't like to buy junk. So I had a budget of $20 for their stockings. I watched on Black Friday, and I watched at Sam's Club and got a good deal on both. Originally, I wanted to fill my son's stocking with Hot Wheels and fill my daughter's stocking with Little People, but um, I decided to do something different, so it's kind of along those lines, but it's not quite the same. So my two-year-old daughter is obsessed with dinosaurs, so I got the, her this big um, pack of dinosaurs from Sam's Club. I believe this was $14.99. My budget for each of their stockings was $20. So this thing has 60 dinosaurs in it, um, and they are the little guys oops they are the little guys um some of them are real small and some of them are a little bit bigger um she's gonna die she's going to absolutely love this and i'm just gonna flip this entire bucket into her stocking um and then christmas morning i am going to set the never touch a dinosaur book um in front of her stocking she loves dinosaurs and we she also loves books and we have the never touch a dragon book and she really likes she really likes that one as well. So I'm super excited about this for her and her total, this was $5 at Sam's Club, so her stocking came right at $20. And then for my son, originally I was gonna do Hot Wheels, but then I came across a deal on Black Friday on the Super Wings figurines and the Octonauts figurines. And they were $5 each. So these toys are regularly $9.99 but on Amazon, but I got them for five. And it is the Super Wings. So this one, it we got him Jet. We got him Dizzy, and we got him Transforming Donnie. So I will take these out of the packaging and then put them down in his stocking. Um, and all of these transform from their character to a bot. So he's going to think, he doesn't have anything that transforms. He's going to think these are awesome. Um, and then... I would have gotten more of these, honestly, if I would have known how big that they were going to be. This was $5 on Amazon, and these are, it says Gup P and Quasi. So I'm not 100% sure. I have trouble with the Octonauts names, but it's a little figurine. He's about three inches tall. I'm not sure if you can see it. And then it's his ship. And <clears throat> it has this hook here. So when I was looking at this on Amazon, I honestly thought this thing was going to be like a keychain size. But everything Octonauts was so hard to find, and it was so expensive, and it's his absolute favorite. Um, that I just assumed that this thing was going to be tiny, but since he loves Octonauts, I went ahead and got it for the $5. If I would have known it was going to be this big, I would have picked up more of these. Um, so this is, I'll link this below. If you're looking for Octonaut stuff, this is like a super... This is a super great find, and I didn't realize until right now that it's Fisher Price, so it's probably pretty good quality, too. Um, and these were $5 each, so he came right at $20 as well. So that's it for their stockings. Next are their gifts for Mom and Dad. My husband and I picked one gift each for them to be for Mom and Dad. Um, we actually picked this up from Five Below, um, and it was $5, and it is a remote control Buzz Lightyear. He is probably eight inches tall um and it says that it will with the remote control it will walk forward the re and the re the wings retract so i think he's gonna love this um I'm gonna again i know you'll notice that a lot of our items are out of the packaging and that's because i detach all of these straps put them back in their box and then wrap them so christmas morning i'm not like 
trying to open 8,000 things because I don't want to deal with it. I just want to let them enjoy their toys right away. Um, so I hope that this is actually good quality. I don't shop at Five Below very often because I feel like the stuff is usually junk. But this is like licensed Disney Pixar Toy Story. So I think it's probably going to be good quality. And then for my daughter, again, she is obsessed with dinosaurs. So we got her this, um, like, dining ride riding dinosaur stick and y'all listen uh, it gr it growls she's gonna love it she's gonna be so excited she has one of those little ducks that you push like on a stick and she absolutely loves this so i think she's gonna think this is the greatest thing ever so that's all i got for mom and dad Next, I let each of them pick a gift for each other because I think that that is important that they buy gifts for each other, um, like growing up and that they think of each other. So my daughter's purchase was kind of guided. This is something that I knew my son was going to absolutely love, but I did ask her. Um, she's two, so of course she said yes, and I made her like put it in the shopping cart. So she participated. Um, but this is the Melissa and Doug triple party layer cake um and you slice it and you can put the toppings on there and i love they have a flat one too we bought it for my nephew for his birthday and that one's really good quality but i knew that he would love the triple layer um we also have the cutting set and he is obsessed with it um i have an entire video on melissa and doug toys i'll link up above um i'm a huge fan um so he's gonna really love this and i believe that this was 14.99 somewhere somewhere in there. I don't think it was more than $15. And then for my um, daughter, we also got this at Five Below. Um, my son picked a ball. Uh, Wesley Kay is two, and she is obsessed with basketball right now. And my son picked this. Um, wanting. He said he wanted to get her a basketball when we were in the store. He said a basketball. She loves a basketball. Um, but he didn't understand that this was a volleyball and not a basketball. But this was the one that he wanted, and this was the ball that he was getting. So she's going to love it anyways, and this was 5 bucks at 5 below. And the last items that my kids got for Christmas um, are from Santa Claus. So my son first asked Santa Claus for a spaceman, and then meaning um, Buzz Lightyear. But then my father-in-law got it for him. Um, so then we told him to ask Santa for something else, and he asked for a cowboy, of course. So, um... He got the big cowboy that talks. That Duke Kaboom is one kooky Canuck. Duke uh -huh. Kaboom. Um, so this, this has got the hat and everything. It's right here in the box. Um, I think, what was this? These were $29 at Walmart. And I did price check this several places. And Walmart was the cheapest, was the cheapest place to buy it. I was really surprised. Um, and then for my daughter, we got her a, she has a, she's very interested in potty training right now. Um, she is obsessed with a little potty, and she also really likes to feed her babies. So we got her, a, but she's, she doesn't have a bottle, so she's always putting, like, her sippy cup up to, like, stuffy animals and mouths. So we got her a baby doll that came with a potty and a bottle, and I was $14.99 at Walmart. I will show you a picture right here above my face because it's already wrapped. And that baby, um, she's going to love it, but I don't, the baby is real hard plastic. It's really, really stiff. I actually think it's the kind of baby doll that water will run through, uh, which we will not be filling that bottle up with water, but she's going to love it anyway. So I didn't take it back, but I can tell, I can tell like from feeling the doll that it is not the best quality. Um, but for $14.99, it, it was okay. And she's going to love it. So that is everything that my kids got for Christmas. Um, I know that in comparison, no, maybe not. I don't know. In comparison to other people, this wasn't a lot. It, to me, it's a lot. Like the amount of stuff sitting on my floor right now is stressing me out. Um, I don't know. How do you guys do Christmas with your kids? Let me know in the comments. I absolutely love watching these videos, but sometimes the amount of stuff that I see people buy, I'm like, oh, you do you, girl. I couldn't. Um, but no shade, you know. Um. I love it. I love Christmas time and I really enjoyed shopping for my kids this year. Last year we didn't do any toys at all. Um, this year we pretty much did like the one toy per one toy from each person kind of rule. And I feel like this worked really good. This is probably how we're going to do it. Um, 
going forward. So yeah, let me know below how you do it. Um, as always, hit the subscribe button, button down below if you enjoy my channel. Um, I have an entire playlist of toddler gift ideas linked in the description box. Thanks for watching, and as always, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Thank you.